Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at multiplication and division equations in this math lesson. First off, we are going to talk about isolating variables and solving for variables, and if this looks familiar, good, that means you watched last week's lesson. All right, let's take a look at this. Also, a hint that was also in last week's lesson, this is done a lot in pre-algebra and Algebra 1, so as part of Math 7, this is a good foundation for things moving forward. First off, if you're given an equation like this, n times negative 2 is equal to 14, the very first step is that we find our variable, n. The variable is the letter inside of the equation. And we ask ourselves what is connected to that. In this case, it's times negative 2. Then we are going to sort of open this equation up a little bit and do the inverse or the opposite operation. <clears throat> so if we're multiplying times negative 2, we would be dividing by negative 2 on both sides of the equation. This keeps it balanced. And then we can simplify times negative 2 and divided by negative 2. Those two are inverse operations, so they basically undo each other, or they cancel each other out, or they simplify to basically not existing. And I can explain how that happens. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 gives you 1, and 1 times n is equal to n. So it's not that they actually disappear, it's just that we do math to make them so we don't see them anymore. It's kind of, math is kind of like magic, I guess. Then we have on the right side of this equation, 14 divided by negative 2, and we will solve and simplify. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Uh, positive divided by negative gives us a negative 7 as our final answer. And that's how we solve them. If these steps look extremely familiar, that is probably because they're exactly the same steps for solving addition and subtraction equations. If you follow these same steps, you will continue to see them throughout. Let's get into solving some on your own. I want you to try this one out. Negative 3n is equal to negative 33. With this one, I do want you to follow the steps, and I want you to notice something. I wrote negative 3n. That means negative 3 times n. Just keep that in mind. So find the variable, ask what's connected to it, do the inverse of that, try it out. 3, 2, 1, go. Welcome back. Did you do it? Did you actually pause the video? You're probably thinking, I'm the only person that's, that paused that video. I can't believe he's talking to me. I did pause it, Mr. Buffington, I swear. And if that's the case, good for you. And for the other people, I can't believe you didn't pause it. All right, let's take a look. Our variable is the letter N. We are asking what's connected to it. It's negative 3. And in this case, it's times negative 3. We're going to do the inverse of that, or in other words, divide by negative 3. And to keep the equation balanced, we have to do that to both sides, which lets us now simplify. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 gives us 1. 1 times n is n. Therefore, n is by itself on the left side of the equation. On the right side of the equation, we have negative 33 divided by negative 3. Let's simplify. Gives us 11. All right, a negative divided by negative will give us a positive, so that is our final answer. Now let's look at one that's a little bit more complicated. The reason it's more complicated is because the numbers are a little bit bigger. Same exact steps. You wanna try on your own? Okay, fine, I'll let you do it, that's fine, that's cool, I don't wanna rush you ahead. Go ahead, pause, try it on your own. All right, welcome back, our variable n, What's connected to it? Negative 13. This means times negative 13. So we're going to do the inverse, inverse, which is dividing both sides by negative 13, which gives us n by itself on the left, and 182 divided by negative 13. And when we solve and simplify, of course, 182 divided by negative 13 is negative 14. Um, maybe you don't have your 13 and 14 times tables memorized, and that's okay. You can definitely use a calculator for this. We would divide 182 divided by 13, and that gives us 14. And because it's a positive divided by a negative, our answer is going to be negative. 
Let's try another one. This one is a division equation. Guess what? We're going to use the exact same steps. That's because these steps are designed to not be a shortcut, but to be a method for solving. All right, let's try it out. Find our variable, n. What's it connected to? Divided by negative 4. So I'm going to do the inverse. Let's open up the equation and put the inverse of divided by negative 4. That would be times negative 4. We have to keep it balanced, so we put that on both sides of the equation. Divided by negative 4 times negative 4, those are inverse operations, so they will disappear. And we end up with n on the left of the equal sign and negative 2 times negative 4 over there on the right side of the equal sign. We solve that. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative times negative gives us a positive. Boom! There it is. Not too bad. I want you to try one, a division question, n divided by 14 is equal to negative 3. This one here is going to be um, give us a little bit of a large number, and that's okay. But I want you to follow those same steps that I've reiterated in this lesson and in last week's lesson. You can do it. Go. All right, my turn. Find that variable, n. What's it connected to? Divided by 14, what's the inverse or opposite of divided by 14? Well, that's times 14. But I got to keep it balanced, so I'm going to add that to both sides. Actually, I'm not adding that to both sides. I'm multiplying it times both sides. Anyway, let's go ahead and solve that. That gives us n is equal to negative 3 times 14. When we simplify, we get n is equal to negative 42. Negative times a positive gives us a negative. 3 times 14 is 42. And that's how you solve these. Pretty straightforward. A couple of things to keep in mind. The value of the number does not matter. So that's why division and multiplication are different than addition and subtraction equations. We don't have to remember which number is positive and which number is negative. The, the values of the numbers don't matter. Just follow the steps and remember the rules for multiplying and dividing. Also, here are those rules. If they're the same sign and they're multiplied or divided, then you get a positive. If they're opposite signs, you get a negative. That's the rules for multiplying and dividing with positive and negative numbers. It's pretty straightforward. I hope that lesson has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.